Hello, ladies and gents. Let's just go into the demo so you know what this is going to be about, and then I'll give you the context and the steps on how I built this uh, afterwards. So the basic idea is I go into my CRM and I click on uh, review, and what's going to happen is make.com will run a scenario here. And after a minute, I should receive a call because this is watching it at regular intervals of one minute. So in about a minute, I should get a call. Here it is, I'm receiving the call now. Hi, Henrik. This is Ellen from Tutoring XYZ. How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm doing good. What's going on? Oh, that's awesome to hear. So Henrik, I hope you've been enjoying your lessons on low code and no code platforms. I'd love to gather some feedback from you about your experience so far. It will only take a few minutes. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, that's fine. Great. Can you tell me how many lessons you have completed? Uh, we had 11 lessons. Thank you. Now, on a scale of 1 to 5, how would you rate your overall experience with the lessons? Oh, that went to great. About a 3. Okay, a three it is. Thanks for sharing that. Let me just note this down real quick. All right, I appreciate your feedback. Now, would you prefer to receive a special offer via SMS or email? We are offering a 50% discount for your friend that you refer to us. And if you refer a friend who also signs up, you'll both receive Starbucks vouchers. Starbucks, that sounds good. Can I actually get an email first? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Can you send it to nightwolfreverse at gmail.com? Got it. Nightwolfreverse, sending your review over. Wait a sec, please. I'll send that email right away. Couldn't send an email. Okay, that's unfortunate. Could you then just send me the SMS? Sending SMS. Great choice. The SMS is been sent with the details. Cool. Thank you so much for your time and feedback, Henrik. Hope you learned and enjoyed the lessons with us. Catch. All right, catch up. Yes, yeah, so I wasn't sure why the email thing wasn't working, but essentially what I did was to just call it again and I reprompted the assistant and we got an email here and it's HTML formatted. So we got, thank you for your review. And the code is Henrik. Uh, here's the link to the lessons and then they go Starbucks, Starbucks voucher if they refer a friend. So this is my make.com setup. This is the one that sends everything over for us. And this is the scenario that watches for changes within my Airtable. So the basic idea is that if you've got a tutoring business or anyone that you want to get feedback from. So what you would have to do is manually come back in here and then click on, so let's say they were booking lessons with you and you know they told you that they're about to finish with you because I've learned everything they need to. Then you click on review. This then updates the modified time and we are watching this setup in here. So we're watching this status field and when this is triggered by the last modified, then it actually sends out a call to VAPI using this endpoint, this bearer token, their content type application, but essentially um, I think I might today just go over like a really quick brief overview of what setup looks like. And then the next day or two, I might go through a more technical setup of how I set everything up. Because yeah, today I don't have uh, as much time as I'd like to. So essentially this is a transient assistant because it's dynamically getting variables from Airtable. So it's actually going to go high and whatever the name of the person is that's calling in. So what it will do is a search for it will search for the name from here. So it'll put the name in from Airtable and then call that person up dynamically using this. Then what will happen is while this is in progress, there is a, another make.com scenario where a few things are going to happen. So in this first bit, this is a server URL I have set up in my transient assistant body. That's at the bottom of the JSON there. 
Then we have a filter where we are filtering which way to go based on either whether it's a, it's a tool call or whether it's a uh, end of call report. Uh, you could have another one for let's say uh, status updates for the conversation. And then here for the tools, I've got three tools installed. Um, I'll actually just show you them real quick. And to know how to do the tools, I would highly recommend watching my first video, which should pop up here somewhere. Uh, it essentially goes through on how to update your assistant with tools, but that won't actually tell you how to do this perfectly because I am doing this manually. So I wrote out a whole JSON by hand to suit this. So for example, in here, I've got my tools and this is my first tool and it ends here. So essentially the first tool, what's happening here is it gets the name of the function score. That's important for you guys to remember that one. That will make sense in the next make.com make scenario. And you, its job is to get a score out of five. The next is the next thing is to get the score, the score out of five, and then to get the number of lessons that they did. And then those two are needed before the function is called. So the cool thing with tools is that you can send a review over. You can actually tell it you can actually tell it what specifically to send to a person or what to say to a person while this is happening. So it's a bit, a lot more customizable with the functions. And you can also set it so that async false, basically that means is that this call, this function call is actually synced with the assistant. So that uh, while this is happening, it's actually waiting for the response instead of just moving on into the conversation. So if we set this to true, it will just keep going through the conversation as if as if nothing happened. Yeah, so that's one of the tools and I remember it was called score. So if we go back into here, what I did is I wanted to report to the score that they can, so I should probably change the label of this. I'll just call the score so it makes more sense. So I call the score and I grab the function name and one of the function tool calls was called score. So the name here is called score. And then I added in the score and the lessons into my a table. So I just put them in here and then how I did that is I searched the I searched the phone number that they called me from by using this Airtable formula and then that got me which row ID to update because you need the row ID to update a record. So this, that's how I got that bit here. Yeah and then the result has to be back in this sort of format which again I talked about in my first video about tool calling. Highly recommend you go watch it please spent a lot of time on it and I think Vappy just updated the, the whole dashboard and there's actually a tool calling bit in there. So there might be even a newer and better way to do tools. Not sure, I haven't tested it yet. All right, so that's what gets them back to Vappy if this all works. So it will say the review was entered successfully. And yeah, basically I did the same thing for the Twilio and Gmail setup and the end of call report comes in and then I basically do the same thing I did above. I just searched for the row ID again, and then I updated the review section of my Airtable using the summary that I made. And this part's really cool as well, because this way you can actually prompt Vappy using this setup to tell it how to summarize the end of the call. So I said, you are an expert at summarizing callers review of our tutoring classes. Please summarize a conversation in 120 characters or less. And what it's done is then it's actually done that and spell, never spells my name right. Henrik completed three lessons and rates the experience five out of five, prefers you know, for special offers. And again, these numbers are different uh, from our demo call because I had to run it again to get the uh, email to work. So I just changed the prompt slightly and then yeah, it worked. Anyway, this today, as I said, just a really brief overview of, of the whole setup. But what I'll do is I'll actually give you guys this prompt completely for free, uh, just to give you guys some extra value. Hopefully you now see the power of tools instead of just having functions within your assistant. And one more thing, I had to set up, I, I, this way I could set up one, two, three, four, basically like function calls uh, within one make.com make scenario using this setup. Otherwise, uh, if you had to do this manually, you would have to go into the functions part and create a custom function for each thing. So like 
the a function for the score, a function for the email, a function for the SMS, and a function for the end of call report. Like, um, there might all be four different make.com scenarios, but this way they're all in one. All right, this happy I got it working. Thanks for watching. If you are a business owner interested in setting up something like this at all, you're welcome to book in a call with me using the Calendly link below. And if you're a student wanting to learn any low code to no code platforms such as VoiceFlow and maybe even Vapi, I'm happy to help you out. You can also use the lessons calendar link for that. All right. Thank you, ladies and gents, and signing out.